Okay, let's start with just a little bit of a background thing. Um, Elaine, obviously, you're wearing the white hat, so give us the facts about the case. Again, no names, uh, but just the facts in general. And if everybody else would go ahead and, and mute yourself while we listen to Elaine talk about the facts of the case. case. Okay, I lost you for a second. Can you hear me? We can. Okay. This is a 37 year old woman. Um, she's the mother of three. Um, she's a stay at home mom and she has got a lot of family uh, issues in the past. She just lost her father six months ago um, to liver cancer, I believe. Um, he was a drinker. Her mother is a drinker, um, alcoholic. Her mother's an alcoholic. Um, and she had a really good relationship with her father. She does not have such a good relationship with her mother, who is still here. But she is pretty much a caretaker for her. She doesn't live with her. But she caretakes her. They handle her finances and medications and things, anything she needs. And um, what we're discussing uh, prior to this is that her mom calls her four to five times a day. And um, she's... Although she loves her mom, she's very angry with her mom in a lot of ways and resentful and um, has just a lot of baggage there. But there's also, it's also laced with codependency and she still feels drawn to uh, succumb to her mother's approval. And so that's kind of what we're dealing with in the video. Good. Perfect. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Let me ask just a few questions about questions of her and your counseling specifically. For example, okay. uh, what was the reason for referral? I'm sorry? What was the reason for referral? Why did she initially come? Um, she is wanting to help herself. She's having a lot of anxiety and some. Uh, she, a little bit more background. Her brother killed himself. And she found she was the one that found him. This was years ago, but um, now her father passing. Um, she's has some trigger things. She had PTSD back then and saw uh, sought counseling back then. But she's with her father passing. She's going through grieving and having anxiety and a lot of issues coming back up. On your initial intake with her, what kind of goals did you set with her? Um, we didn't really set goals the first intake. We're kind of working on those now. Uh, reduction of anxiety. Um, we're going through codependency and some of her depression things. And um, the really the main things that we're dealing with are grief and codependency right now. Good, good, good. Yeah, and just clearly stating those helps move therapy in, in your direction, but I don't want to jump ahead of that. I want to actually move on. We're going to skip the yellow hat and come back to that at the end because of all the positive nature of that, that encouragement. Uh, but let's go ahead and go dive into the black hat. And, you know, last week I called it the devil's advocate. So I'm going to ask you, Shannon, go ahead and unmute yourself and give us that little bit of, of uh, what could have been done differently. Okay. Okay. So, like I was saying, I, I know I'm supposed to be devil's advocate over here, but first I just want to say that your last question um, asking her is basically her mother's self-worth or her self-worth more important. I thought that was great. Um, but moving back to the devil's advocate hat, um, I felt like sometimes you were cutting her off in her thought process as she was still speaking. You're like, do you think it's this? Um, and then at one point, because that happened, it was like there was a train of thought lost. It was almost like you missed the first thing she said because you were thinking about what you were going to say to her. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I know exactly where you're talking about. Really, okay. because I chose to start writing them down that I had, I got a little off doing that. I was trying to hear, and I wanted to make sure that I got all of them, but I knew exactly where you're talking about, yeah. Good, good, yes. Yeah, and then maybe I know that because we didn't know, I don't know how long you've seen her beforehand and if you've already gotten into this, but the minute she started talking about the alcoholism and it was, 
she, you know, she can't really blame herself basically because her brother committed suicide because they were drinking together. Maybe you could have paused there and dug a little deeper into that aspect. Yeah, we have addressed kind of all over the place. The We've done a lot with that initially. I've seen her several times. Um, this is probably the fourth or fourth session, I think. But uh, I today, what I wanted to stay on task with what we were talking about, the self-worth and the the main issue at hand is she with her mom. So I was just trying to stay on task. But I there was a lot. I realized watching it back myself that I could have dug into a few things. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's something I need some more experience of how to of handle that. I was trying to stay on task. You know, and I don't know if maybe, I mean, what do you think, Professor Carroll? Do you think I should have? You know, we'll, we'll get into right. this afterwards, but in that moment, yeah, you would have right. you would just picked something and kind of leashed it and held it in place for, you know, for however long, 15 minutes or whatever the session is. But I don't, I don't want to get bogged down to that. We'll do all that at the very end. But, um, okay. Shannon, thank you. And thank 